Hey hello everybody, my name is Coolblue and I'm bringing you guys yet another video of me playing more games. This is the extended playthrough of me playing Mint Control. So if you didn't see the rules video or if you didn't see the, I guess, review rules video uh, slash also playthrough, um, feel free to check that out. Um, I'll link it here so you guys can check it out in the top corner. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and play a few more solo playthroughs and then uh, end it there. So we're going to be playing against Gia and Mint uh, Control. And also if you just jump into this video and you already know how to play Mint Control, um, welcome, um, but this the reason why I'm doing this here is because I played a few playthroughs of the solo game um, about you know, six or seven games and um, Shuffling the five cards you can only shuffle them about so much and uh, my cards are starting to get some wear and tear that I wasn't a, wasn't happy about so I decided to instead just put these tokens do a little back draw and uh, It's essentially the same thing gets the same random three abilities that I'll choose and then we'll move on with life uh, but this is just more so for the preservation of the cards until I can either find good card sleeves for them or maybe I'll just do this forever. I don't know. Anywho, so our opponent today is going to be Gia. Uh, this is Gia's rules. So there you go, so you can see up close. Uh, so Gia is the greedy gangster. That's that's what Gia is. That's right. The greedy gangster. The worst kind of gangster, I guess. And as far as Gia's abilities, uh, Gia... Oh, let me this. I got to read it. There we go. That's a little bit better. As far as Gia's abilities, uh, Gia says uh, if Gia has at least one mint on the black market, uh, she controls it. It says that she steals one additional mint whenever she does, whenever she reveals a scavenge action, which is uh, still still from your opponent. Uh, when Gia reveals the influence uh, action, she influences for free if she controls the black market. Okay, good to know. And also, Gia steals an additional mint. When the black market oust effect is activated for for her, okay. So G is pretty pretty aggressive as far as stealing things and as far as getting free stuff. So she revolves around the black market. So I want to make sure I keep her off the black market if I can, um, or at least have some semblance of presence at the black market. So we'll see how this goes. All right. So I think the very first thing I want to do is to make sure that we have our starting mints. Okay. So I think my first action is going to be to steal a mint from Gia. And then I'm going to do earn. And then I'm going to do influence. So the hope is that I'll be able to do steal, influence, and then earn. But just in case Gia steals two mints from me, I'll be able to earn and still influence. So I have a little bit of a, a backup plan inside of my initial plan. So I'm first player. I'm going to go ahead and start. So I'm going to do steal. I'm going to take a mint from Gia. And G is going to do the shuffle of the bag. G is going to do presence. Has no presence. Can't do anything with it. So we'll instead just get a dollar. Because that's what the bots do. I'm going to go ahead and do influence to spend two dollars to go to black market. Because remember, when I do, or whenever the um, presence ability is activated, I get a dollar per mint that I have there. So that's useful. And then uh, G is going to get another token from the bag. See, let's go with this one. And she's going to do influence, so she's going to pay $2 to put a token here. All right, so now she has black market. So remember, now whenever she puts a uh, token down during influence, she gets it for free. And she also controls here, so I do not control black market now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and earn $2. And then Gia's very last action, hopefully it's not scavenge. I jinxed it. It is exactly scavenge, so Gia's going to steal $2. Because remember, Gia steals one additional dollar when she does scavenge. All right, uh, first round, not not too terrible, not the greatest. Um, I kind of wish Gia didn't steal my money, but you know that's what the greedy gangster will do. So these tiles will go back in the bag. Gia will be the first player, and now we move on to the next round. So <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and choose to do a few of these. So let me see. <coughs> I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna steal. Actually, no, uh, you know, let me not steal. Let me just earn influence and then presence or uh, oust. I'm not going to be able to do all three, am I? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do all three. Let me do um, earn, influence, and scavenge. We'll see how this works out. It depends on what Gia's first turn is. Um, I don't think I should presence right now. But I do think I need to get more in the location here. So G is going to presence. Okay, so G is going to get a dollar from the bank. And G is going to steal $2 from me, which is just $1. Oh, 
Okay, so this actually worked out pretty well for me. Uh, remember, Gia can steal basically twice now, so I really need to get Gia off of Black Market if I can help it. So I'm going to do a steal from, or yeah, I'm going to steal from Gia. So that way, if Gia does do a, a scavenge normally, she'll only steal one dollar instead of two. And then Gia is going to do a earn, so she's going to earn two dollars. My next action is I'm going to go ahead and do an earn. I'm going to earn two dollars. And now um, I'm still at risk for Gia to steal from me, and yes, she does. So she's going to steal two dollars from me. And that means my mal that my last action is wasted, so I can't do anything. All right, got caught in a little bit of a uh, aggressive loop there, but you know, it happens. All right, <clears throat> so I can go ahead and do presence, presence, earn, and influence. So between these two. Well, between these two, I will be able to place. My goal is to try to place things. Actually, no, that's not true because Gia can also steal and presence herself and possibly uh, take all our money. Hmm. Either way, I'm going to get the same amount of money, aren't I? Yeah, so I really need to go to gallery. Uh, so I can hopefully get the presence ability there. So we'll see. We'll see if I can hold on to a location. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do earn first. I'm gonna get two dollars. And G is going to do uh, presence. So G is gonna steal two dollars and get a dollar. And then I'm gonna do presence so I can get a dollar back because I get a dollar from here. And now G is going to earn two dollars. So money pools running low, and I am now going to do influence, which is going to spend two dollars to put a token. I will put it here, and Gia's last action is going to be hopefully not oust. Okay, I <laughs> jinx myself. One, two, three. Gia's going to oust, so it's going to kick off my token. I'm going to get to steal a token from or steal a dollar from Gia. That's the only benefit I get. All right, so I'm I'm not in too much of a dire strait, but uh, we're running out of money. And I really need to get G off black market still, so I was hoping that that last turn could have ended a little bit better for me, but here we are. Here we are. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> apparently congestion and all the allergies kicking it in while I'm recording. All right, so let's go to the next one. Uh, G is going to be first. I'm going to choose. Hmm. Wait, is G going to be first or am I going to be first? I don't know if I move this token. I think I went first. Yeah, so now it's Gia's turn to go first because Gia played Oust last, which made me a little bit sad. Okay. <coughs> so. Hmm. Definitely earn influence and then presence. Hopefully I can hold on to it. Uh, or I can do steal. Now I'm going to do this. I need to get more money. So I'm going to try to earn $2 and then I'm going to try to influence and then I'm going to try to presence to get $2. So we'll we'll see we'll see how this play order works out. I don't know. <coughs> Gia's first action is going to be to oust. So she's going to spend $3 <laughs> to kick me off of a card. And I'm going to be able to steal a token from Gia. Okay. So that means I'm going to just immediately influence myself back in there. So I'm going to spend $2 to put myself right back here. <coughs> and now Gia is going to do earn. So Gia is going to get $2. And I am going to also, well, I'm going to presence first and just get a dollar. So that way, if Gia does steal money from me, um, I'll only lose $1. And hopefully, okay, never mind. I was about to say, hopefully Gia doesn't steal, but Gia does, in fact, do the steal. So she gets a dollar from me. And I'm going to go ahead and just get $2. And I'm prepared for next round. So I can do some good things next round. So that's it. Token's back in the bag. The first player's token moves. And I get to choose my next three. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose. Hmm. You know, I'm going to choose to do influence. Um, presence and then oust. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to afford it, am I? And earn. 
So I'm going to influence. Hopefully I stay there. And then I'm going to be able to do presence to get $2. And then I'm going to be able to earn. So I'll set myself for the next round. And then I'll try to finally oust Gia from Black Market. One thing Gia hasn't done is Gia has not done influence in a while. So I'm, I'm going to give this bag as good of a shuffle as I can. To make sure it gets, it's getting nice and random in there. But, you know, I can only do but so much to shuffle <laughs> five cards. This is why the bag is... <laughs> The bag feels pretty good because I can shake the bag and get it all randomized. So I get to go first. I'm going to go ahead and influence with my $2. So remember, Gia has control of Black Market because of her card, but I do have more tokens in her, so I just want to point that out. And <laughs> Alst immediately? Wow. Okay, so $3 to kick me off of the card I just got on. But I get a dollar back because I get to steal a dollar from Gia. <coughs> So my next one is going to be, hmm, if I do presents or earn, it's going to be the same concept. Um, I'm just going to do, ooh, I'm going to lose money anyway, because Gia could possibly steal or presents to get the money from me. So I think there's no way for me to dodge losing all the money. So I'm going to earn first, get $2. And Gia, we'll see, she'll do scavenge or presents. She decides to do earn. Okay, cool. She's leave me alone for now. She gets herself two dollars, and I'm going to do presents to get a dollar. Now I will at least have two dollars for next round. So okay, she's going to influence. So Gia pays no money when influencing now because of black market ownership. She controls here. She's going to go to gallery next and just place a token there for free because that's what her ability says. All right, and uh, that's it. So wait, is that the right card? Yeah, that's the right card. Okay, let's make sure. <laughs> so I held on to some good money that round. Um, I don't go first, but at least I'll be able to definitely do presence. Or sorry, influence. So I'm going to do influence. Um, I can also do influence, presence, oust. To see if I will be able to kick him off. Uh, yeah, because uh, presence will give me more money. No, presence gives me the same amount of money, doesn't it? Okay, if I can hold on to the four, I'm going to influence there, and then I'm going to presence to get money and more money. So we'll see. And uh, I'm going to just earn instead of ousting. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. <coughs> so Gia goes first. Gia's going to oust immediately. Ah, you jerk. Three dollars. One, two, three. Kicks me off of this card. I get to steal a dollar. Alright, so I'm just going to immediately influence to spend 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, yeah, because I really want to be in Lotto. That protects me for a round, at least. And then I'll be able to get a whole, lot, a whole lot of money here. So I spent the $4 to go there. And G is going to do earn $2. And I'm going to go ahead and do presents. And that's going to give me $4. Four big smackaroonies. One, two, three, four. And Gia's last action. Had a token. Dropped it back in the bag. Will be to influence. So once again, Gia's going to influence for free. Uh, this is controlled by Gia already. Can't, no spot available for this one. So Gia's going to place another token here, which is even worse for me. And my last one is I'm going to just get $2. So I got a whole lot of money. Um, that's it for this round. Put the tokens back. And I'm going to definitely oust presence influence because no, like there's no way that Gia can steal enough money from me to make me not have a, a decent round. But I definitely need to make sure that I um, load myself up with the money while it's here. And then I'll be able to oust and influence and do all the other fun stuff because uh, Gia is running low on tokens and I want to make sure that I actually have <laughs> a good chance of winning. So my first action will be to presence to get four dollars. So now this round, there's no way that Gia can make me broke. One, two, three, four, and you know, best case scenario, Gia does earn first. So let's see. Nope. Okay, she does influence. She does it for free. So now I'm in dire straits because I need to make sure that I oust this round and next round. Oh wait, I go first this round. My bad. Sorry. This should be with me. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and spend three to oust. I'm going to oust Gia from uh, here because I want her off a of black market. She's going to get to steal a dollar from me. 
and another dollar because that's what the ability says. It says still one additional dollar when black market's oust effect is activated for her. Yeah, so she's still two dollars for me. It's not that bad. I'm not super hurt over that one. Uh, Gia's gonna oust me. No, no, oh, that sucks. One, two, three dollars for Gia to oust me from here. I get four dollars, so that's gonna be cool. One, two, three, four. And my last action is to influence. I'm gonna put myself right back over there. So one, two, three, four. It's only one victory point, but it protects me, you know. <clears throat> or I can instead put myself here in gallery and then get Lotto later. Because Gia, well, I was about to say Gia can't afford Lotto, but Gia can afford Lotto because it's free for her. So I would be running the risk of leaving Lotto open, which would be really difficult for me to kick Gia off because it gives her a lot of money. Oh, I can pay one less to oust from that action, or from that location. That's only $2 for me to oust. Actually, Gia should have, like, an extra dollar then. Okay. And Gia's last action is... Uh, to do earn two. All right? That round wasn't ideal, but it wasn't too brutal. So Gia's going to be going first. So this is all shaken up. Let's see. I want to do oust, presence, influence. That will be my order. I don't think stealing or earning are actually all that good right now. First thing G is going to do is oust. Okay, this is fine. So I'm going to spend, or G is going to spend $2 to oust me from here. And I'm going to get $4. One, two, three, four. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> So I am going to go ahead and oust Gia from Black Market. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to, oof. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, I definitely need to put myself back on Lotto. One, two, three, four. So that's going to give me a token back here. And hopefully Gia doesn't place another token. Okay, good. Because now I can oust Gia from Black Market. And now that'll give me a little bit more of a fighting chance. So I'm going to oust for $3 two three and i'm gonna kick g off of this card g is gonna steal two from me that's fine i'm okay with that i'm gonna give a lot of money back and if the rng gods were on my side g will not put a token back there cool all right she just steals a dollar from me i'm fine with that so g has stole a dollar from me let's scavenge and i am going to get four dollars one, two, three, four. And I'll be first player. Tokens go back in the bag. All right, now we're in a good position. Now all I need to do is I need to do influence, oust, and presence <coughs> in that order. So I'm going to do influence, oust, and presence. So I get to go first. Um, my influence will be able to go in black market. Or actually, no, I should oust first. Because uh, there's, well, there's $3 in there. Maybe it's not. Maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll do influence, oust, and presence. Because remember, Gia is gonna oust me from here before she oust me from there, and I want to try to fill up these spots so that way Gia doesn't have a place to go in there. And um, if Gia does put a token there, I can oust Gia from there. And if Gia doesn't put a token there, I can presence, get myself some money, and then oust from there, just in case Gia decides to later. So I go first. I'm gonna influence one, two. Go here. <coughs> Gia's first turn is going to be to oust. Okay, so Gia's going to spend one, two, three. No, oh, sorry, two, because it's one less. Kick me off of here. I'm going to get $4. Three, and then four. All right, so I'm now in a pickle because I can't re put myself back there. But then again, Gia's going to put herself back here first, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and do oust. So I'm going to spend one, two, Three, and I'm going to kick G off of this card, which is going to give G a two extra dollars. And now G is going to to the bag. G is going to presence and just get herself two dollars. 
and I'm going to present to get myself a dollar plus I get to steal a dollar and Gia's last action is to earn two dollars and there's only one dollar in there oh how sad all right money goes back or sorry tokens go back in uh first player goes to Gia and things are looking kind of healthy for me now <clears throat> now that I got Gia off of black market um I think I'm going to uh, influence on Lotto to protect my black market position and then oust again so I think influence oust and then maybe presence we'll see how this work out works out for me it really depends on what Gia's first token is. Gia's gonna earn nothing, so there's nothing for her to earn. Sad, missed turn. Oh, that's so sad. I'm gonna go ahead and influence with one, two, three, four. Okay. And then Gia is going to oust for three dollars. Two dollars, sorry. One, two. Kick me off this card. I get four dollars. One, two, three, four. Uh, so, sorry, my turn. Um, I'm going to oust Gia. One, two, three. Actually, let me presence first. Yeah, I'm going to presence first. That's going to give me a dollar plus. I get to steal a dollar. So I'm going to get a dollar. I get to steal a dollar. And Gia's last action will be influence. Ah, so Gia's going to spend two dollars to put one here. And that's cool because now I can oust <laughs> for three dollars, kick her off this card, and she gets to steal two dollars from me. All right, that worked out for me. That worked out for me. And I'm, I get to be first player now. Oh yes, we're in pole position now. That I, so I basically defended my position. I lost some money for it, but I defended my position that round. Um, so now I can hopefully uh, continue my diabolical plan. So I'm gonna influence. Um, presence earn so the idea behind this is I get to influence uh, get three dollars and then earn two dollars and be prepared for the round after so I'm gonna go ahead and do the influence immediately because G is going to try to put one there anyway so I'm gonna pay the two dollars to put my token here and we'll see if Gia decides to put a token or not okay so she steals nothing from me uh, there's nothing to steal so Gia is going to get a dollar from the bank because that's what the rules say I'm going to presence, which is going to give me two dollars, and I get to steal one. Perfect. This is the turning point. She is going to oust me for three dollars. That's okay. One, two, three. And kick me off of this card. I've already got my presence, so I don't really care. And I get to steal a token or steal a dollar from Gia. And I'm just going to earn two dollars. And G is going to presence, get herself two dollars. All right, okay, this is fine. So, so now, now I'm in a, I'm, it's, it's in a back and forth. I've improved my position money wise. Um, I protected my position too, so I just need to make sure that I can actually continue to defend. So I got money, so I'm gonna presence, sorry, influence, um, oust, and then presence. Because I, I have the money to uh, to sustain a scavenge from Gia. So Gia's going to earn $2. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and influence 1, 2 to go back here again. Gia's going to oust for $3. 1, 2, 3. I'm okay with this. Kicks me off. Um, I steal a dollar and that's it. I just steal a dollar. Um, I am going to... I'm going to presence because then I can make Gia not afford. Actually, no, I can't. Gia's going to be able to afford to put back on black market. Never mind. I've already been ousted, right? Yeah, I've already been ousted this round. So. So if I spin three. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll oust. One, two, three. Kick Gia off of this card. Gia gets $2. And now Gia's last turn. So either Gia's going to place back on black market and leave me alone or steal my last $2 and I'll get money back anyway. All right, so she's going to put herself back on black market. One, two. And then go here. And of course, my first action next round is going to be to oust, so it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to get presents. I'm just going to get a dollar. I'm not going to be able to steal because I don't control it anymore because Gia's ability card. And that's it. 
All right, we got a path forward. It's been a long, 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 hard fight. As you can see, there, there is there is some issue with getting stuck in like a, a logic loop at a certain point. Uh, but the rounds play so quickly that you know you just kind of move back and forth. And of course, with me explaining everything I'm doing, it's making it take a little bit longer. Um, but just just know, just know that it's not as bad as it seems. Uh, I promise. Um, definitely not as bad as it seems now that I'm playing this correctly. <laughs> I can say that much. So I'm going to oust. I think that's the first thing I'll do. Oust influence presence. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend three dollars to oust. Oh. Actually, ooh, I did that backwards. I don't want this one. I want earn. Okay, all right, cool. Okay, now I'm gonna spend three dollars to oust, and I'm gonna kick G off of this one. G is gonna steal no dollars. G is going to influence immediately, so spend two to put herself back where she just came from. So this is good. I'm making a waste of time. This is fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and presence to earn well i'm just going to earn what two dollars i'm not gonna be able to protect my money because if g is going to steal g is going to steal or actually i can kind of protect my money i should say i'm, I'm just gonna do this to get one dollar g is going to oust okay can't afford it so it just gets a dollar and i'm going to earn two and g is going to eh? G is going to steal two dollars, right? So kind of back on our board state we were before. Whoop. Eh. All right. So how do I progress this further? I need to get all my tokens placed. So I'm going to focus on that. So I'm going to earn influence and uh, presence. I'm just going to try to focus purely on getting my tokens out. I was not going to give me enough money. I was trying to go for Lotto. I can't afford that. Well, I can put myself back on black market. So yeah, I'll, this will be fine. This will be okay. So G gets to go first. First thing she's going to do is influence, or sorry, presence. She's going to get a dollar and steal two dollars from me, which is just the one. I'm going to go ahead and just earn the two back. And we're going to see G is going to earn two. I am going to influence, spin the two to go back here. And last turn, G is going to steal nothing, just get the dollar because there's nothing to steal. And I'm going to presence and get two dollars. All right, cool. Next round. Uh, for this, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> ah, geez. For this round, I am going to presence, uh, influence, else. No, presence, influence, earn. So I can get some more stuff back on the board. Because once again, if I can just get my tokens down, this is fine. All right. So we're gonna presence as my first turn and get two dollars. Worst case scenario, I get reduced by more money and I just have to put it back on black market. G is going to earn two. Cool. So G left me alone. Um, I'm going to ins uh, influence here to go to, sorry, influence with $2 to go to black market. Okay. So my win condition is looking a lot clearer now. And G is going to oust. So spin $3, one, two, three. It's not that bad. Kicks me off of here. I get to steal a dollar. And I'm going to go and earn two more oh, from the bank. G is last turn. She's going to influence for free because she has the black market. So she's just going to go here. All right. Uh, next round. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. So for me, I'm going to presence. Actually, no. I'm going to uh, influence, presence, and then oust. So I'm, I want to get G off of black market, but also want to prioritize getting a lotto first so I can kind of set myself up to hold on to these two black market positions. All right. So this is all shuffled up. I get to go first. Influence. One, two, three, four. And that goes here. So I'm protecting my position. So if Gia outs me, she's going to oust me from there instead because logic. 
and Gia decides to influence. Instead, Gia will place a second token here, which that sucks a lot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and presents, which I'll get $2, and also get $4. One, two, three, four. She is going to steal two, right? And then I'm going to spin three, one, two, three, to oust Gia from, hmm, yeah, the black market. I'm going to get her from here as much as possible. Oh, no, she's going to steal money if she does that. I'm going to oust her from gallery, and it's just going to give her $2. And Gia's last action is to presents. She's going to steal the last $2 anyway and get a dollar. Man, I have no money. There's only $1 in there. Oof, that's tough. That is not good. That's not the board state I wanted. <laughs> that took a turn for the worst. Okay, so, wow. Um, I need to press, oh, I can't even, there's no money. So I have to steal um, pr influence and then maybe presence. I'm not gonna be able to afford it. So I'm, I'm really hoping that Gia ousts me from that location now, because otherwise I am in a bit of a pickle. All right, so if she now ousts me initially, it's gonna suck even worse. So hopefully she does something to put money back in the bank. Actually, no, ousting is the only way she's gonna put money back in the bank, actually. Just thought about that. Oof. All right, um, we, we might we might be in an in-game state. I don't know, I don't know if I can get out of this one, y'all. All right, so she's gonna influence. Just put herself here. Uh, I'm gonna steal a dollar. And then G is going to steal, oh no. Oh, that's not good. Um, I'm going to presents and get myself just one whole dollar. I can't get any more dollars than that. Oh, that's tough. Oh, and she's going to earn, and I'm going to waste my last turn. Oof. All right, this is not a good board state. This is an awful board state. This is the worst board state. Like, I am now shut out of money. Uh, I, I need to steal, of course and then maybe steal influence and then earn hopefully uh maybe oust just yeah steal influence and then Whew. yeah I, d I definitely need steal and i definitely need influence again and maybe if i'm lucky there'll be money back in the bank and i can actually presence We'll see. I get to go first, so that's not good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the steal. Taking one. She is going to go boom. She is going to presence and steal these two from me. All right. Well, I don't know if there's anything I can do now. Um, none of my actions will do anything. I'm just gonna presence and hope that G is gonna kick me off of a token. Thank you. Okay, G spends three dollars to oust, kicks me off of here, and I get all these dollars. And now my next action is to influence and spin two to get back over here. Right, so that's all locked up. <clears throat> and then Gia's last action is going to be to influence for free. And, oh no, that's not good. <laughs> that was one of my worst fears. I didn't have enough money to get back there. But oh, also, hold on, Gia spent one less dollar, so I should have one less dollar. Shoot. Because Gia spends two dollars to uh, house instead of three for that location Whew. it's a trap it's a trap indeed and Gia's going first can I even do anything I, think I can steal and then I can cry a little man there's no money left oh okay there's money now but there's, there was no money before so I can do that I can earn oh no I can do that and I can presence Presence, steal, influence. I should oust. I need to oust. Oust is important. All right, these are my three. Gia goes first. And game. That's game. Gia places her last token. And the final score is Gia has all the points and I have zero. Yep. Yep. Got stuck in an aggressive loop at the end of that. And uh, yeah, that's... <clears throat> that's effectively this particular solo so um 
with this one, I don't like this one because of the stealing. The fact that Gia has two opportunities to steal actually makes it really difficult to hold on to money. Playing by the correct rules where you can get more money from things is good, but then Gia ends up like just sitting on the money, not doing anything with it, because she places for free when she's on black market. It just it just makes it so aggressive. So so your your victory conditions end up being make sure Gia doesn't have black market while also holding on to all the gallery. Because if you hold on to all gallery and lotto, then you're fine. But Gia can oust you for cheap here and then you know, you can it's 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 hard to justify getting this when the only benefit you get is just two dollars instead of potential four or three or two you know so and it's a push and pull it's a push and pull i don't know i'm i'm i'm, I'm kind of sour on this one because this is one that i played um for a whole hour before um because i was playing with the wrong rules and uh, it wasn't my favorite so all right so i promised two so we're going to play one more opponent and then uh we'll end the video there so let's go ahead and move on to the next opponent, which is going to be the game designer himself, which is, no, not Josh, Justin, where's Justin? And yes, I have played against Gia, Justin, and Karen before, so I do have some idea of how they play. Um, but even even with my knowledge of Gia, uh, it still did not give me all that much as far as uh, a leg up, you know? All right, so Justin. Justin, this is his card, and we'll move him where the glare is not too bad right there uh, so Justin is the game designer and if Justin if Justin has at least one token on the leadership council he count or sorry he uh, controls it when Justin reveals the influence action uh, he does not have to pay any mints to place a control token okay <coughs> we'll see how that well that works out for him and the locations that he's going to invoke are going to be the Leadership Council Park, so Park, Leadership Council, and Real Estate, so Real Estate, and last but not least, City Hall. There we go. Get these out of the way. Clean up the table here. And Justin goes back here, and the order is Leadership Council, then Park, Real Estate, and City Hall. And I got my blues back. I get to go first. And we both start with $2. All right. <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started so given the layout of the board i really want to hold on to city hall because that gives me an extra dollar whenever i play in action it just says any action so i really want to put a token there so i think the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to do i'm definitely going to take influence and hmm influence steal and then earn so i can get myself a decent start all right so first thing we do is an influence i'm gonna spend one dollar to put my token here sad thing is there's no oust benefit so if i get ousted it's well i can't get ousted because justin has no money so this is fine then Justin's going to steal one dollar for me all right it's not bad i'm going to steal one dollar from justin <laughs> and justin's going to pay two dollars oh wait sorry when justin reveals the influence action he doesn't have to pay any money okay so so stealing is actually a bad action why did i steal hold on i misread that card eh i guess I'll, i would have stolen anyway so justin pays no dollars to go here <coughs> my last action is i'm going to gain two dollars and justin's going to earn two right Moving on to the next round. Tokens back in the bag. Let's see. I would like to influence. Or actually, no, I want to oust. Nah. I'd rather influence. Yeah, let me influence. Because uh, I can oust for cheap over there. 
So I'm going to do influence um, else, no, influence presence, earn, or steal, yeah, earn. Okay. This is all good. This is all good. This is all fine. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Justin's first turn is going to be to steal a dollar. That jerk. That jerk face. That changes my plans a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and earn. Oh, man. I, d I didn't get my extra money from this, did I? Anytime I play a card. I sh so I should have gotten two extra dollars. Sorry. Because it doesn't change my plan at all. Actually, it does change my plans a little bit. But I'm going to stick with this because I should, I, I should be paying attention. So I'm going to influence to pay uh, three. No, I can pay four now. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And because of this card, I get a dollar. And my influence is going to go here. Now, Justin's next turn. It's going to be to earn two dollars for himself. Then my next turn is going to be the presence. That's going to give me a dollar here. And it's going to also give me this, which I get to place a token for free, which I will gladly oblige on a lesson or three. Now, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, if you didn't check out the other video, um, so for park, the normal rules say you get to place a control token for free. I modified the rules because I didn't like the way that played out um, because it means you can just place on a, free, a park for the oust uh, ability. So if somebody oust you from park, you can put it back on park, which doesn't make sense in my mind. So I made it less than or equal to three, which turns out to be about like 75, sorry, 65 to 70% of the cards in the game um, or something like that. So I can place on anything that's three or less according to my house rule. So I can put it here or I can put it here. Um, hmm. I think I'll put it here. So that way when I do presents, I can decide to oust for one dollar. Should be pretty nice. Should be pretty nice. And Justin's going to presence, which is going to give him two dollars. Right. Uh, my last action is I'm going to get two dollars. That's it. Token moves. Next roundo. Next roundo of game. All right. Uh, hmm. Looking pretty good for me so far. Justin has no points, so that's why I benefit from uh, right now. So if I can just get my last two tokens down, then I think I'll be free. I think I'll be free. So I can just do an influence and a presence. And then I'll also will do an oust just in case things get hairy. <clears throat> so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a presence. Which presence will let me do this to get a dollar. And it'll let me do this, which I can spend three dollars to oust right now. So I'm going to spend three dollars to kick Justin off of this and Justin's going to get a dollar because I kicked him off and now I also get the oust ability so I can do this which I'm going to place this for free right there actually I'm going to place it over here now I'll place it right here alright so now no matter what Justin does I'm going to be able to win so this is fine alright he's going to pay to influence he pays no dollars because of his uh, character trait and now I'm just going to go ahead and influence immediately and I'm going to spend two dollars to put my last token and that's game that's it woohoo I won a game versus the designer yay <laughs> as you can see the the difficulty curve is very sharp <laughs> because Gia you get stuck in that logic loop but with Justin I, I guess the tiles that came up for Justin weren't ideal for him and I was able to kind of capitalize also I kept forgetting to get my city hall benefit which means I should have had more money in my bank account um, yeah, so, so I mean, like, even with that card, um, I should have been paying attention more. So even with ignoring this card, um, I was still able to hold on to control because Leadership Council's worth no points. I now have four points, sorry, five points because of control. And uh, my initial focus was to, like, kind of force Justin into a corner while I got City Hall. And, yeah, I mean, it worked out. It worked out. That worked out really well, just with this combination of buildings. And that particular playthrough took what... <laughs> all of maybe 10 minutes if we're lucky uh so yeah as you see the game does have some some good depth to it uh if you get stuck in a logic loop like what's happening with gia versus if you get stuck into a very easy breeze through with justin things can be very different so that's cool um i think i fear that because these setups with the solo player have because they have a very specific card pattern 
you can easily figure out the the formula and break the game and you know kind of win the game that way um as i did with justin because i played justin before a few times and it's kind of went the same exact way where i got city hall got free money and then just got park and just kept placing places so i mean that ability to place twice is actually really nice so it makes sure that the opponent doesn't have it as good the issue with Gia, though, is that if you if you haven't watched the Gia one, just skip through this one. A spoiler alert. Um, I lost to Gia, um, but Gia just steals your money and holds on to it and doesn't spend it. So you end up in a situation to where you have no economy and you can't do anything. Whereas I guess Justin was working on that. It's kind of his ultimate goal is, to, I guess, to drain the economy. But, you know, uh, uh, with this free placement, just as long as I keep him off a of park, which I can do pretty easily with this real estate office, I can have a good time, you know? I can have a nice little fun time, feel powerful, feel pretty powerful, feel good about myself as I fight through, and uh, move on with life. So, yeah. So, that's it for this video. Um, I'm not going to play through anymore. I have some other stuff to do, but I'm going to upload these videos so you guys can check them out. And I hope this is informative. I hope this is, gives you a good feel for how the game goes. I hope this clears up some of the rules, questions that people might have regarding the buildings. And, um, yeah, feel free to house rule, park, and the other one if you want to, like I did. Um, I feel it makes the game a little bit more sensible, <laughs> although it's still a fast game, don't get me wrong, but yeah, so thank you guys very much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, I will see you guys whenever.